All right, get some get some speed up here. We need to get some distance in front of that flood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's... That's going to be an issue. <laughs> Let's see from the inside. Yeah, slightly affected our vision, going to be honest. So far, the flood has not been the problem whatsoever. The The problem has been exclusively my skill. Um, Lightning McMath. Okay, we're going to go up the road in Lightning McMath, I think. I think Lightning McMath has just really caught my eye. <laughs> Can we beat the flood in Lightning McMath? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Beam NG challenge. Today, we are going to conquer the flood. As you can see, we are in a crater, a canyon. There's a road that takes us all the way up to the top, which, you know, that doesn't sound too hard. All we have to do is drive up this road. It looks like a perfectly safe road and make it to the top. But we have another mod that we are bringing in here, which will make sense with this. The flood mod difficulty. <laughs> it's giving us a sign at what, is, at what is laying ahead of us. And what is laying ahead of us is it's about to start raining. And unfortunately, it seems that when they designed this crater, they forgot to put in any drainage. So enough rain means that this crater is going to fill all the way up. So it's natural that our challenge is to make our way to the top before the flood catches us. Now, I don't know how easy or difficult this is going to be. I don't know what sort of car we should take. I do know there are some bumps and bruises on the road. It's not a perfect road. So probably something like a Bugatti Chiron is not going to be a very smart decision, but we're going to try out some things and we are going to see if we can beat the flood. I do not have a huge amount of experience in BMG Drive, but I do love cars and I do love racing games. So we're gonna have a blast and see what we can do. So I hope you enjoy, sit back, relax, and let's see if we can beat the flood. I don't know what car we're gonna wanna do this in first. What I do know is that there are like potholes and stuff. And you know, if there's potholes, that's gonna mean that we're gonna want something that's gonna be able to handle those potholes. None of these look like they could handle these potholes. An Audi RS4, oh my God, the stance to Audi RS4, sorry, getting distracted real quick. Look at this thing, ooh. Okay, this thing's sick, but also a terrible decision, a terrible choice. So let's make a let's make a realistic choice here. We want something that's got at least a little bit of off-road capability, and something is catching my eye naturally, and it's going to be the Gwagon, because the Gwagon is obviously very high. But I also feel like maybe that's going to be the easy way out, getting an off-roader. So I think you know what? Let's start it off. Let's just let's just take on the road in a fast car and see how we go. It's going to be difficult because this game is you know semi-realistic. So. Uh, it's, it, 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 I don't know if I, if I'm quite capable of full speed handling driving up a canyon in a supercar, but we'll, we'll give it a crack. Let's go for it in the 675LT because this thing looks good. Stage one, you're gonna, you're gonna modify the 675LT? Sure. That RS4 is sick. All right. This thing looks good. This thing looks good. Damn, this is a good looking mod. And the interior is great. What is this pulled from? All right, let's bring up the mod. Okay, so it says, I mean, look, we haven't done this before. Let's start on very easy, which is 1.25, 1.25. Let's, let's, let's just start it. All right. This car is bouncy, okay. We got a bit of dirt. Oh, there's the water, the water's here. I don't see any rain. Maybe I was meant to change some settings there. This is a real, ooh, a hype. Okay, that's, yeah, that's not good. We've lost a little bit of the car there. <laughs> I was about to say a high power rear wheel drive car is probably not the best choice for someone who is relatively inexperienced in the game. Well, we've, uh, we're about to get consumed by the flood and we're gonna have to start again. <laughs> All right, vehicles. Oh, that. 240Z is wildly attractive. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. It's not what we're looking for, but damn, that looks good. A GTR could actually be good, especially if we just went for like a stock one. Although the off-road one looks kind of sick. I think we're going to try this. We're going to try off-road in this GTR and see if we can beat the flood. All right, we have a Mad Max style GTR. Let's give this a crack. So far, the flood has not been the problem whatsoever. The, the problem has been exclusively my skill. <laughs> I'm 
so bad at this game. <laughs> I, I I need to take something like like a normal person's car. You know, we'll just take something chill and we'll just we'll just drive up the road in a relaxed manner. We're gonna take a Miata. <laughs> we can take it stripped. Spooky. It's a ghost Miata. Um, Lightning McMath. Okay, we're gonna go up the road in Lightning McMath. I think. I think Lightning McMath has just really caught my eye. <laughs> Can we beat the flood in Lightning McMath? Who makes this stuff? It's raining, the water's coming in, and we need to get home. Let's go. Already at 60 miles an hour, it only took eight seconds. Slowing down for this first corner. This is where I struggled a little bit last time. Now this car's not super low, which meant that we were able to clear that, that dirt like it was nothing. I'm gonna be honest, it looks like the, the flood is coming up a lot faster than I was expecting here. We may struggle in this car. We may need a bit more power. Look at that flood coming in. I'm getting stressed. But this car is way more controllable than the last cars I've been using. Although we did make it to here in the in the Mac, I think. Maybe it's the all-wheel drive that was throwing me. I don't like drive. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Nearly lost it a little bit there. That water level is is still rising, but we've still got a bit of a lead on it. Slowing down here. It seems like it's a little harder to damage this car because it is that little bit higher. All right, that's gonna cost us some time. The water is coming up quick through the rock tunnel. This is as far as we've been so far. Come on. Oh, I did not see that coming. All right, we've just hit a pet a pit and we've lost our front bumper and our oil pan but that doesn't mean that we're out of this we've had some oil pan damage here and we are that that front bumper is really causing a problem for us here stuck in front of the car we need to remember to avoid that pit in the future oh no we're going back down now oh no oh and we've just ever so slightly caught the side of that tree I put it into slow motion for you guys. Is the car still drivable? It still looks okay. <gasps> we've lost our side door and we've definitely got some, some body damage, some chassis damage, but we can still drive. Our engine is orange. As you can see down the bottom, it's not looking too good, but the car is still driving okay. That flood, honestly, it's I I, I can see, you know, we, we did pick the easy level of uh, of flooding and, and you can definitely see that it's it's being forgiving for us. We're in quite a slow car and we've had quite a few accidents, but we're still ahead of the flood. Man, this game looks really good sometimes. <laughs> Especially if you put it in this like dusk setting, you know, like obviously the lighting's a bit key here, but sometimes when the light catches the cars, it just looks real good. I can see the bridge. Come on. There's a big pit there. Slowing down, slowing down. Lost it a little bit here. All right, we got some dirt. That's not too bad though. That, that was pretty manageable. That was pretty manageable. All right, we're still going. We're still in this. The lighting is very messy, but that's okay. It's a modded map. And over the bridge, a little bit of traction loss there at the back the back end. Hard breaking into this tight corner. Oh my God. Okay. No, not bad, not bad. All right, and this is giving us some decent height here. Come on, we're doing a bit of a one wheel peel here. I don't know how much longer this track is. Oh, that's a sketchy bit there. The car feels like it's slightly pulling to the right, but not too heavily. Still very manageable. BeamNG does give you a great sense of speed. Like you feel like you're going fast even when you're not. Like I'm going 50 miles an hour and I feel quick right now. Is this a shortcut? Oh, we can make this. Let's go, go, go. Oh, a shortcut. Where's that water? It's still pretty low. We're looking good. Be careful coming out of there. You don't want to damage that front wheel. Up and around. Oh! Uh, oh, no! No! Okay, it's okay. I think the car's still okay. I think the car's still okay. Just get out of this pit as that water level slowly rises. Okay, we might need to go straight out and around. Come on, get us out, get us out, get us out. Go, 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 go. That water level is coming up on us. I'm hearing some funky noises coming out of the car right now. We are not in a great position. Something in the front, that our, our front right fender is flapping in the wind. The whole car is shaking wildly, but we are still in this. This car is durable. Luckily, we haven't had any crashes that are too major. I mean, we've had some crashes that might have killed us, but not the car. 
<laughs> we did wrap ourselves around a tree, but luckily we didn't sustain too much damage to the vital components. That water level is coming up on us, but we're looking good. We're looking good. I do not know how much longer we have left. Slow down here. Oh, imagine drifting this. Don't give me the wrong idea. But imagine drifting this. Drifting against the flood. Oh, that would be epic. That's like a Fast and Furious fucking... That's a Fast and Furious movie. All right. Oh, no, 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 we were doing so well. Okay. Oh, 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 no, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Floor it. No, no. We're, we're stuck. No, that is depressing. Lightning McMath has been conquered and unfortunately did not make it. The Miata worked beautifully. It was not the Miata's fault. It was entirely on me that we failed there. Reset that water level and let's head back down. The Miata was a beautiful machine, but I think we have to give it a go in something different. Let's change it. Let's go for an R34 GTR. It's, it's pretty low, but I think we can deal with it. And Millennium Jade, start that off and let's go. It looks great in that green. Look at that exhaust pipe rattling. It's so low. Are they this low stock? Oh, it is just bouncing around. <laughs> it is so bouncy. The suspension is stiff. <laughs> Past the landslide. We are just literally, we are hopping. We are hopping. What if... Let's turn traction control off. Does that help? Let's put it in manual. It seems to be so slow. Get that boost pressure up. It's still, it's so hoppy. Get around the pit of death here. Literally jumping around the road constantly. Back into second. Where does the road go? That sounded bad. I'm surprised that exhaust pipe is still attached with how much it's bouncing around. Ooh. Honestly, I'm surprised at the condition of the car with all this jumping. The suspension is, is definitely taking it. Oh no, synchronizer damage in gear three. Oh no, that's bad, that's bad. All right, we've got some slight damage to that front right wheel because we hit a pothole. Our front door, the window is broken. Let's just take a quick look at our damage here. We have the bumper falling off the front here. The hood is also falling off. We've got broken windows and that front door is struggling. It's okay, we can still win with this. This car is slow. The Miata fell faster. It's all that turbo lag, I guess. Or just still hopping around. Or oh, this felt like I was maybe taking that a little too aggressive, but that's okay. Gotta be careful here. We are slightly pulling to the right. We have damaged that front that front right tire, it seems. Or oh, wheel. Avoid the pit. Come on, we'll take the shortcut again. Look at how good this looks. Are you kidding me? Like, damn, this looks good in here. Oh, we've done some damage to gear number one as well. Oh no, that was gear two. Oh, I wish we could get rid of that front bumper. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, it's funny that the, that the, oh, okay. The cars that I've done the best with have been the slowest. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. Nice. Oh, yep. Come on, baby. I don't want to lose this again. Oh. Okay, not bad, not bad. That's okay, that's okay. That could have gone way worse. Could you imagine actually driving away from a flood like this? It'd be terrifying and exhilarating. <laughs> God, imagine doing this with traffic. That's, that's definitely the next challenge. We went off somewhere around here in the Miata. I remember that corner. I think it was up here that we went off. Oh! That pothole could have done us dirty. Oh yeah, that is a tight one. All right, we have made it to the fuel station. Where's the flood? I couldn't see it. That means we're doing all right. We're doing all right. There it is. I feel like we, we must be getting close now. We can see so close to the top. That water level is coming up. Come on. I'm surprised that bumper is still attached at this point. And again, I'm still very surprised that the exhaust pipe is hanging, hanging around. All right, we are in mysterious. Oh, 
territory. We, we need to be careful. We don't know what's ahead of us. Okay. I see more construction equipment. That, that worries me. I'm going to take this nice and peaceful. Oh, we didn't need to. We didn't need to. The all-wheel drive of the GTR is handling it like a, like a knife through butter. All right, we might be going too confidently fast here. We're in third gear for the first time in a while. This is definitely risky, but I'm willing to take the risk to beat the flood. Slowing down for this little dirt patch. Oh, good thing we slowed down there. Those rocks could have been a real hazard for us. We have a dip very decently there on the flood, but that's okay. I'm not slowing down for nothing. There was a jump there. Oh, I should have slowed down for something. <laughs> the jumpiness of this is just absurd. As long as we don't do anything dumb, we will beat the flood. Famous last words. Oh, whoa, okay. Big landslide. Oh no. Oh no, this car is, no, no. We are struggling in the mud. No. Come on, get out of the mud. Get out of the mud. All right, we need to find a safe path through. Oh, no. This is so bad. We've lost our front drive shaft. So we are now rear wheel drive. Right when we needed that front drive shaft, we lost it. We are stuck in the mud. Come on. I did not realize we were going to need an, an all-wheel drive car here. We really needed some height to get through this spot. We now know. And look, we are so close. Right there. It, that's got to be the end right up there. We are so close. Well, it looks like the flood has conquered us once again. Except that, well, again, it wasn't the flood that conquered us. It was the road. We need something lifted. Ooh, that thing looks insane. We're going for the off-road Miata. I think, yeah, I think this is going to do it. I think this is everything that we've been waiting for. Are you ready, Miata, to race the rain? Let's go. This thing is funny looking. I wonder how this how the steering is going to be actually with these massive mud tires. Oh my god, okay. But we should be fine through things like this. Oh, nowhere near as bouncy as that crazy GTR was. A lot more control. A little more slidey though, which makes sense. The GTR was all-wheel drive. I assume this is rear wheel. It's going to have a little bit of a, of a happier back end there. Made it past the landslide. So far, no problems, but we've had a few cars where we've had no problems to this point. I want to do this with some friends. All right, over some dirt here. Didn't even feel the difference. Through the rock tunnel. We've got to keep an eye out for these. Yeah, here it is. Here's the pit of death. Get past that. Feeling very good. I'm not even I'm not even checking out the flood. Bring it around. A little bit of air here, maybe. Yep, having some fun with it. <laughs> All right. You can see that water down there. I definitely feel like I can be like foot to the floor in this car because it's not too fast. It's light, it's fun. There's a bit of dirt there, we'll avoid that. Oh, that's not a dirt, that is a pit. Beautiful. Oh, this car handles like a dream. It is taking on this track like nothing. It's got just the right amount of power. It doesn't need more than this. Maybe we'd be struggling if we were racing. but we're not. Well, we are racing, but we're racing water. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I just realized this car has drive and second. So I assume it's like automatic and hold it in second. It's a true off-road car. A little bit squealy around there. Oh, we got to do the shortcut. We got to do the shortcut. And there, oh, that was a definitely like the the most confident I've jumped in there, and that was a little sketchy. If we clipped the wheel on, on any of those pillars there, that would have been that would have been bye bye. Now there are some pits. Yep. <laughs> oh, is it this number two? That's all right. I think we're okay. I think we're gonna be okay. We did have some damage there, but it's it's more like body damage. I think I'm hoping the car still feels okay. Let's quickly pause. Okay, so we lost the front bumper. We got a little bit of damage there on the on the chassis. Overall, though, I think we're okay. Oh, actually, that front bumper might always be gone, but the roof is, is a bit damaged, I, I noticed. All right, we don't want to get too confident. We don't want to get too confident. This car feels good. It feels... It's, it's a lot more fun. Okay, it handles those potholes very well, though, I will say. It's got the... It's got bouncy suspension. It's got big wheels. 
It's good. But yeah, this car, like, it feels fun. Like, it's playful, you know? It, it doesn't feel like the uh, the supercars and, and the refinedness of the other cars. It, it, it's just a bit playful. It's, it doesn't take itself too seriously. It's just fun. But I don't need you to tell me that about, you know, I don't need to tell you that about a Miata. Everyone knows that. Will it be the vessel that takes us to the top, though? That is the, que that is the question. I'm not even avoiding those at this point. <gasps> okay, okay. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Exact same place as last time. Oh no, can we get back up here? No, come on. No, this is so bad. This is so bad. We're stuck. Come on, wedge our way out, wedge our way out. This is difficult. This is this is a, a tough time, you know? I mean, you know, I, I thought we I thought we were gonna do it. Yeah. I really did. I really did. I think we're like, we're, we're getting good though on the, as far as like getting used to it, we're doing well. If I was taking everything slower, we would be probably completing this pretty easily, but it's just boring. So honestly, I may as well up the difficulty of the, of the flood anyway, because I'm going fast regardless, but we'll do that. We'll do that another time. I just, I'm not confident any of these are going to make it through the mud. I think the G-Wagon could. I think we're going to go for the Brabus 4x4. This will be fast, 4x4. Four four. I think this will definitely be able to get through. Will it be too fast? We'll see. But let's get into it with the Brabus 4x4. Four four. The 4x4 four four rocket, or the 4x4 four four G900. Oh my. This car is lifting heavily. I believe this is, I believe the 900 in this name stands for 900 horsepower. You can certainly see. It looks like we've left our sunroof open. Not ideal in this kind of rain. As soon, every time we go into first person in a car like that, I feel like we're gonna crash. Oh, oh, okay. This thing is ludicrous. Oh, oh, we are on the edge. It is very hard to keep traction in this. We just took this for a nice, peaceful, leisurely drive. We'd be fine. I mean, look at look at what happens when you like it. Literally lifts every time you like floor it. Oh, jeez. All right. Round the corner. Does not want to turn. It's definitely the sort of car that you can, you know, slow down in the corners and make up for it in the straights. Although it does not like going straight. <laughs> it doesn't like going straight. It doesn't like cornering. It just likes being an absolute menace. Oh, oh, bit of air there, bit of air. Taking us off the road, but we're okay. I'm being a bit safer now than I have been with other cars because this car is such a menace. There's a pothole there, we gotta get around that. Up on the side. I can't imagine we'd take it much damage doing anything like that in this car. With how big the wheels are and how big the suspension is. Oh! No, no, no! Oh. It didn't let me accelerate there. The traction control wasn't letting me. This thing is insane. There's the flood down below us.
Taking it safe around there. You know what? Let's take the normal route. We've never even tried it. Not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> Whoa. Slow it down there. Slow it down. I think I need to be a little more tappy with the brakes than, than fully pressing them. Or just like I'm having to do with the throttle. Got around those fine. This car is just driving in a perpetual state of lost traction. Like, you're going so fast and your, your wheels aren't even aligned. Oh! That's a pothole. Not a problem for the for the crazy 4x4 G900 or whatever it was called. All right, very good, very good. Get a bit of speed in here. We do have to remember that we are racing the flood. Okay. Oh, oh. oh that was close. That would have been depressing. We've reached the gas station. I almost feel like I have more control when it's out of control. Like, when I'm going slowly and I'm trying to turn, it barely moves. But when I'm driving fast and I try and turn, yes, it's like bouncing around, but at least the, like, it's moving more, you know? Like that, you know, when you, when you, when you give it a little bit of drifties. Not that that's really drifting, but like power sliding. You kind of feel like you have more control. Yep. All right. I'm feeling good about this run. Oh. Okay. Luckily, this car doesn't care about that. Maybe if we had both wheels going in there, it would have been bad, but because it was just those, the, just the front one there, I think it was okay. I was gonna say this is like the perfect car for this, but really the perfect car for this would probably be the stock one, the stock four by four, rather than the four by four 900 because we do not need the 900 horsepower <laughs> I don't know how much power the stock one has but it probably would have been a lot safer takes every ounce of willpower not to go up that jump in a fit of intrusive thoughts alright here we are here's where we lost the GTR Not even a problem here. Not even a problem, as expected. I mean, a little bit, but it got through it. absolute demon. It wants to kill you.
the road feels nicer now. Like we got we got beautiful like I don't know, it feels I feel safer now. I feel like we're past the worst of it. Oh, I think we're out. I think we're through. Oh, 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 that could have been so bad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've done it. Oh, I think we've done it. I think we, yes. Let's turn the traction control off. And do a celebratory donut. We have done it. We have conquered the flood. Granted, it was on very easy difficulty, but uh, I mean, look at how much time we had. Like, we've been messing around in the parking lot there, and there's still all that space. The water is still way down there. We could have done it on a harder difficulty, and maybe we will in future. I also, like I said, I want to try this in uh, a mode where we have AI. I think that would be terrifying. I think the best thing to do here, the natural way to finish this, is to send our car into the pit. So let's cancel the flood and let's teleport over. I believe there is a jump somewhere here, a high jump. Head over to the high jump. A bit smoky. Something wrong with that car? I don't know. But we're gonna head over to the high jump and send our car in as a farewell to this Brabus 4x4 G900 or whatever it is called. And a thank you to it for being the one that allowed us to conquer the pit. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. And if you do have any ideas, oh, that is absolutely flattened like a pancake. If you do have any ideas for videos that you would want to see on BeamNG or any other game like that for challenges, just let me know and maybe we'll make that for you. I do want to check out more of the career mode. The career mode seems fun. As our pancake plummets towards the ground, turning itself into something you could fit into your wallet. <laughs> oh, and the fire has started. A natural end, a Viking funeral for our Brabus 4x4 rocket or whatever it was called. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.